can you believe it's been a month a whole month from my big chop and sis I still don't got it together like I so basically I'm in the trial and error phase of the big chop because I can't figure it out I nothing I do I like so yeah we just gonna jump right into it I, it, I can't find a routine that I like maybe I just don't like the hair cut on me I don't know y'all I don't know I don't know I can't I'm gonna tell y'all what I've been using I'm gonna tell y'all what I just bought and then may, I'm still waiting for y'all to help a sister out and tell me in the comments of what I'm supposed to get but again y'all can tell me and I still might not like it because some of these products I've been seeing on different YouTube videos and it still it just doesn't work for me I just don't know what to do um so I started off trying the kinky curly and y'all it smells amazing like I love the way it smells and I love how it makes my curls look but for me I don't know if I'm doing something wrong but it leaves the white residue like immediately like after like for the first day it looks good and then like the next day I wake up and it's like white flakes like I'm not understanding I don't know what I'm doing wrong but I like it if it didn't have the white flakes and then people say try the eco styler gel try that too I don't like how hard it makes my hair and I've tried it someone told me to put like the moisturizer before I put the eco styler gel and it still makes my hair crunchy and I don't like that and I don't like how that looks either so I don't know I don't like that either <laughs> And lately, I've been using the Curls products, so I have all of these, and this oil I like, I, I've been using this for the whole month, and I like the hair growth oil, but recently, I just bought the um, Curl Control Jelly and the Leave-In Conditioner, so I've been using these, I'm not going to say how, I, I might do a review on these, because I kind of think I might like this. I'll let y'all know. I, I might do a review on these. I think this is the best I've found so far. And I love how this smells too. I'm big on smells. If I don't like how it smells, I'm not going to use it. Even if it does good on my hair. It has to smell good for me to use it. But, y'all, I don't know. But for the growth, it's I think it's grown a lot um, since my first cut. Um, what else? Do I regret it? Sometimes I miss my hair. Like, I'm a bun girl. I used to always put my hair in a bun. And the fact that I can't throw my hair up in a bun right now is killing me. It's really killing me. But, you know, I know it will come where I can throw that bad boy back up in a bun. But right now, I don't know. It's definitely more work, <laughs> I feel. Well, is it more work? Yeah. For me, I think it's more work because to, it, the length it is right now, your curls have to be popping. And I feel like for me to get the curls popping, it takes a lot of work. It's not a wash and go. No, sis. No, not at all. Not for me. I have to put product. I got I need to get a diffuser because I feel like that would help a little bit. But it's definitely not a wash and go. Because again, with the short hair you need the baby hair and that's another thing I'm trying to figure out I never had baby I never used or did my baby hair so that's another trial and error in itself as well trying to figure out how to swoop the baby hair um, and you have to do that every morning so where I usually could just unwrap my hair and comb it put apart and go now I have to figure out how to get the curls popping how to get the baby hairs laid it's a lot y'all but I know it's you know the benefits I know all the benefits of being natural I understand my all my best friends are natural and they they have drilled it into my head so I get it I'm not gonna go back to the creamy crack I promise but natural hair is way harder than relaxed hair Just FYI if anybody was wondering um, but <sighs> I don't know guys. I know y'all tell me it's cute. 
And some days I do think it's cute. And then some days I think my head's too big for short hair. But we'll see. I'm not going to give up. Um, I just need to figure out what works for me. And once I find what works for me, I think I'm going to enjoy it a little bit more. Um, but I'm going to hope that these curls really works. And it's a black owned brand. So, you know. I'm rooting for this one. I'm rooting for it. For real. But I don't know. That's all I, I that's the all the updates I think I have. So my camera died. So that must mean I should just stop talking. That was all the updates I had anyway. Um so I mean let's let y'all take a look at my hair and that'll be it. Until next time, it's him and I, Aquim and I. Bye.